Hey guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Amit and I hope you all are doing good. Today in this video we will discuss an Android interview question and this video is a part of the series Android interview questions and answers. And you can find the playlist link in the description below. So the question is what is a JVM field annotation in Kotlin? So now let's discuss the answer. So the very good thing about the Kotlin is that it is designed with the Java interoperability in mind. It means that the existing Java code can be called from the Kotlin and also the Kotlin code can be called from the Java. Both ways are supported. As today the focus is to learn about the JVM field annotation, we will be calling the Kotlin code from the Java. So what we will do, we will take an example to learn it. So assume that we have a data class session in Kotlin like this and now we can create the object and get the name in Kotlin like this. So we can just create the session object here and we can just write val name is equal to session dot name and it works as expected. But what if we want to create the object and get the name from our Java code. So we need to write like this as you can see here. This is a Java syntax as we are using the new keyword and then a string name is equal to session dot name. So here it will give us an compilation error and it will not compile because from the Java we will have to use the getter method as below session session is equal to new session like this and then we will have to write name is equal to session dot get name as you can see here right now it will compile and it will work as expected. So the question is, can we use it without the getter method as we have done in the Kotlin? The answer is yes. And the solution is JVM field annotation. So if we want a field to be used as a normal field and not as a getter or a setter, then we will have to tell the compiler not to generate any getter and the setter for the same and expose it as a field by using the JVM field annotation. So let's update our data class session like this. So here I have highlighted the JVM field which I have added in this data class before the field name. Here you can notice that we have used JVM field over the field name to instruct the Kotlin compiler not to generate any getter and the setter for the same and expose it as a field. Now if we create the object and get the name from the Java, we can do simply like this. Create the object of the session and simply string name is equal to session dot name. That's it. Now it works perfectly. It will compile as expected as the Kotlin compiler will not generate any getter and setter for the same and it will also expose it as a field. So this is how we can use the JVM field annotation in Kotlin. So now we know the answer to the question what is a JVM field annotation in Kotlin. That's it for now. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel. If you want me to create more videos on a specific question, let me know in the comment section. I will be happy to do it. Have a great learning ahead. See you in the next video.